Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, tonight, or early in the morning, um, I was kind of bored, so I decided to, I've been working on putting together a, a, a major test, at least for me. And what this test is going to consist of is the top players in the freeware AV market. And it's going to consist of two parts. It's going to consist of an on-demand uh, right-click scan of a package of malware. And then it's going to it's going to consist of ten randomly picked at that point in time uh, malware that it left over in that pack after it scans and cleans that pack of malware to see how it does in a proactive sense. Is uh, by that I mean can it protect the system if it doesn't have a signature for it? Now this malware pack I've put together. Let me open it up here for you. For since the beginning of uh, May. Um, till the 18th. It has 2,365 pieces of malware in it and they've all been verified as being malware, um, some kind of malware, be it uh, Trojans, worms, uh, potentially unwanted programs, ap unsafe applications, toolbars, all sorts of different pieces of malware. So there's a nice selection and variety. Um, in the test I have these pieces, these um, programs I have Avira, Avast, AVG, Komodo, Immunet, MSC. This is uh, all released versions, no betas, no none of that. Uh, Panda Cloud and PC Tools. Now I'm going to start with uh, the cloud tools first. So I'm going to start with Immunet and Panda Cloud and because they need internet security and then from then on I'm going to open up another virtual machine and I'm going to make sure that they have the latest signatures and it's all going to be done within a 30 minute period or so so I'm not going to worry about you know new signatures or anything coming out it's not going to be like an hour's worth of test now I also don't know how long the series is going to take if it's going to be two or three videos but I'm going to keep the uh, video running as long as I can other than you know when it um, when it scans and stuff and to verify during the proactive test that something went by what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Hitman Pro because it's one of the fastest scanners and it has the most um, detection ratio associated with it for its speed and what I'm gonna classify it as is the number of infections that are found by Hitman Pro is gonna be where it um, falls um, and of course after I run those uh, uh, 10 I'm going to restart the machine and then I'm gonna do Hitman Pro so for you know different products that use different types of protection mechanisms restarting sometimes helps get uh, rid of a lot of stuff so that's enough talking about that let's get started here's Immunet and I'm gonna resume this machine and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the malware and Hitman Pro on the desktop and the malware is zipped up and I'm going to disable the, the real-time protection while I unzip the malware so it doesn't interfere with it and then I'm going to do a right-click scan so this is uh, this malware I think is about one point something gigabytes yeah, packed up it's one gigabyte's worth of malware so while we're waiting for this to uh, get on the desktop I'm gonna pause and be right back okay so let's open up Immunet here okay and I'm going to change the protection for right now to off Okay, so now I should be able to unzip this folder without it getting in the way. Okay, so while this is unzipping, it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back. Okay, so I unpacked it. We can see it right here. Two, three, six, five pieces of malware. Now I'm going to go here and turn on... Uh, everything that I turned off 
and I'm going to do a right click scan. Now I also wanted to talk real quick about um, the sample size here. This is um, I kind of if, if you know a little bit about statistics um, 2,200 samples over um, should give you a fairly high um, look at how it would how on average the product would um, respond to you know the population size so I think like 600 samples with a 95 percent assurance rate you need like 600 samples if I remember right something like that so 2,000 um, you know you could easily get into a couple million files and it should still roughly give you the same percentage that we're gonna get here um, you know of course it's gonna skew a little bit but that's alright so I'm gonna pause this and I will be back when it's done scanning okay so it says that it scanned in 4 minutes and 45 seconds and it says it found 2,258 out of 2,365 threats and it says they've all been put into uh, threats were detected and cleaned they were all put into quarantine so let's close this up and actually see how many it left over. It left over 196 so let's do the math real quick if we originally had then we divide that by it detected 91.7 percent so 91.7 percent and now out of these I'm just gonna arrange these by application I'm gonna randomly pick 10 so let's do one two you know I'm not gonna do ten because I might kill the computer I'm gonna do five three okay I think that was three I'm going to do this one, four, and we'll do the next one, five. Okay, let's we'll see what this one does. Okay, it looks like that one's waiting to download something. So let's install this. So let me pause while these install and download, and I'll be right back. Okay, this one's going to take a little too long. So it looks like it's installing. So I'm just going to X out of here. I'm going to delete this folder so it doesn't interfere with our results. May I maybe have to delete it on reboot. Um, and then I'll, I'm going to reboot, delete that folder, and run a scan with Hitman Pro. So I'll be back with the results um, when Hitman Pro is done scanning. Okay, guys, I had to uh, start Hitman Pro in breach mode because um, in the normal mode, um, I couldn't do anything it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't start up that rogue uh, basically just killed the computer so now I'm gonna do a scan and I'll be right back okay so in uh, breach mode it found one risk it found this piece of malware this fake alert so it's kinda hard to say um, if that's all there is on the system which is kind of annoying. So as you can see, nothing will start up. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restart and do this. Uh, I'll do a normal scan with Hitman Pro in safe mode. So I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, because I was having some trouble running um, Hitman Pro, I decided I'm going to stick with Malwarebytes. So in, I went into safe mode, grabbed uh, Malwarebytes, and uh, did a scan, and it found nine things. We're going to use this as our base. So as you can see, it found um, a lot of things were changed with that uh, Rogue and this Adware eye scan, uh, that eye vaccine thing that was trying to download and install itself. That is also a piece of Adware, so we'll call this one nine. So now I'm going to move on to Panda. So I'll be right back after I start up the Panda machine. Okay, so I'm in the Panda machine now. And I unzipped the files. And I got the uh, Malwarebytes set up. So I'm going to do a right click scan. And as you can see, we are online connected to the internet. So I am going to pause the video and wait while this scan finishes. Okay, I'm back. Um, it took a little bit of time because um, it doesn't scan really fast and some infections Panda Cloud doesn't remove so I had to manually remove them. But this is what we came out with. So let's do the math again real quick. So, if we clear it out, we minus how many here? 214. And we divide that by, what was that? 2365. 90 point, let's call it an even 91%. one percent detection okay so now I'm gonna randomly pick some of these and uh, see what happens that first one didn't work but this one okay we'll go with number two three four And, uh, I don't know, this one, oh, that one doesn't work. Five. Okay, so now we have five in there. And let's see what, to probably restart so I'm gonna restart and I'm gonna do a scan uh, with the uh, malware bytes so I'll be back with the results with malware bytes see you in a second okay so malware bytes finished scanning here and it found one infection here it found a file win32.exe file so what I'm gonna what I decided on doing too is um, I'm gonna make this proactive part more of a pass-fail so it found one infection and in, um, I'll call it right now a fail and then we'll see how the rest of them do and then if something comes out with zero infections because I can't really count all of the infections the same because I each one is tested with a different file so this is, this is more like a just like a little bit of a test you know you can't really take it word for word because it would involve me testing the same files on all of the same programs so it's gonna be what it's gonna be so now I'm gonna start another video and uh, I'll be back with the next um, program and I think the next program is gonna be a vast so I'll be back with the vast in the next video see you guys